Okay, now we are here in a situation where we can't, cannot um, work with paint, for example. So first of all, GPA mesh, yeah, which should be eight meter. We also would have to shield a little bit against the apartment downstairs, against um, the high frequency as well. So we would need um, two and a half meter so we will see what we can do with um, easy things. One side on the right and one side on the left. Five centimeters overlapping. So to create the grounding, we would need, the result would be that the whole area of the GPA mesh, yeah, is grounded. Um, if you don't like, for example, carpets because you, uh, you have allergy, um, allergen, allergies, which were here in this area, are all eliminated. Protect the silver um, in it, in, in the fabric. Um, there are also a lot of fabrics on the market which don't have this. Yeah, but Problem is to see the result. The best is to use measuring tools. We know this. We don't want to have this. That's the reason why we cover um, the Nova fabric with this lac, with this PU lac, to protect the silver. And that means you can wash it as often as you want. Yeah. Okay. Now we are outside of the canopy. Canopy is still open, so next take we will close it. Yeah? Now we are inside of the canopy, canopy is closed. Yeah? And as you can see, the readings are wow, the readings are perfect. Okay, now we are here in a situation where we can't, cannot um, work with paint for example so maybe it is a rent house um, or we cannot create things uh, on the ceiling and on on the wall um, also we would have um, a floor which would be affected with um, low frequency maybe it is a wooden floor or timber floor or um, we have some concrete floor where um, cables are on top, uh, which makes problems, or the apartment um, below makes these um, low frequency problems, uh, which came then up to this room. Yeah. And also, let's say um, we have hypersensitive uh, patients here and the neighbors downstairs, they have a, a Wi-Fi running and these people don't like this. So we also would have to shield a little bit against the apartment downstairs, against um, the high frequency as well. So we will see what we can do with um, easy things, which cost not very much money and um, what we can do with um, these uh, materials. To cover the, the floor, we would need some material. So first of all, GPA mesh, yeah, which should be eight meter, yeah, as you can see it here. So for example, if we would have a king size bed, uh, like we have it in Germany, as standard would be two meter long, two meter wide, yeah, would be a double bed. Um, we would need eight meter, which we put in three parts with 2.5 meter length. Yeah, so three of them. That means that we have in the end nearly three meter wide. So 50 centimeter on this side, 50 centimeter on this side two and a half meter from behind to the front, which also means 50 centimeters 
in front which we can cover. Yeah? So and then uh, to put something on top we need some carpets so we already have here some for example but for this uh, we see it later. So we would need um, two and a half meter GPA so that is two meter here plus 50 centimeters so we have to cut there and we need three pieces of them if the bed is smaller than two as a uh, smaller than a than a than a king size bed then the overlapping which has to be at least 5 centimeters would be then a little bit more but that makes no problem or no differences yeah so if for example the area should be like this here uh, we are going let's say 45 centimeter over um, over the one side on the right and one side on the left um, if you have uh, problems that this is moving here and for example you would have a, what is it, a timber floor or something like this you could take double coat um, this is a klebeband <laughs> glue band <laughs> for example and uh, just put some of these here and that will be that it that it stays yeah, that it's not moving okay so we need five centimeters overlapping at least so that is minimum Okay. So to create the grounding we would need a copper wiring for example or aluminium wiring doesn't matter. Um, one and a half millimeter would be perfect could be also one millimeter for example yeah so we have to bring this into the mesh yeah and i show you now a little trick okay um one <laughs> possibility is to do this uh, exactly it takes a long time yeah or you do it like albert einstein who said uh, the shortest connection between two points is a straight line i think that's the correct translation so you just fold it like this put the wire and just stick it through the GPA mesh and then you have the wiring inside. So, okay, very good. That's the trick. Okay, so um, if we have the, the copper wiring or the, the, the grounding wiring, in the three parts of the GPA mesh we have to leave uh, a little bit at the end. So and this has to be connected by an electric professional to the grounding. Yeah? And he has to check if the house grounding is okay or if 
you have to create a separate grounding. I don't know, that is from country to country and electrician system in the countries uh, might be a little bit different. Yeah. So um, the important part is, is that we have here on this wiring, on this um, cable, we have there a good grounding. So and in the end, um, the result would be that the whole area of the GPA mesh yeah, is grounded. So it's collecting all low frequencies, problems or um, radiations in this area, is collecting everything uh, via the GPA mesh and it, it is um, then bringing or transforming the um, electric voltage uh, down to ground so that we have here in the end zero. That is the target. Okay, um, to cover now the GPA mesh, um, the best idea would be to go to a furniture, now a um, carp carpenter professional uh, to ask them if he has some rest of carpets that you can get uh, really nice stuff. Yeah, And for example, for a king size bed with um, um, that size now you would uh, have to buy a carpet with 2 meter 50 to 3 meter um, wide or widthness and, and to cover this uh, perfectly and um, that is not very expensive and it's nice looking. Um, if you don't like for example carpets because you, uh, you have allergy um, allergen, all allergies um, to it. It also could be possible to use uh, um, wooden or timber floor panels or um, laminate panels, for example, works um, as well. Okay. When we have covered this here with, uh, for example, with carpet, then we have here under the carpet we have the GPA mesh which is grounded. That means that all low frequency fields which were here in this area are all eliminated. Yeah? So if you have a bed, king size bed, then we have 15 centimeters on each side and 50 centimeters in front uh, where we have no low frequency fields at all, so the device will show zero. And um, with high frequency, especially if you use a baldachin, for example, because baldachin is covered on all sides and on the top, but not on the bottom. Yeah, And that is the missing part um, where we cover here with the GPA mesh uh, high frequency waves, for example, from the neighbors downstairs as well. Good. So, um, every material can cover high frequency as the material or as possible. Yeah. So, uh, we have to see in the end with a measuring if the result is okay, for example. Depends on the strength of the high frequency and on the pressure. Yeah? And in some areas, uh, for example cities like uh, Munich or London or Zurich, um, could the level and the pressure level could be so high that it would be um, necessary to have two coats, so two coverings of um, the Bilachin of the canopy, yeah, that one is not enough. Okay, so when we put the bed back uh, to the place, that is the minimum uh, version of shielding uh, which is possible 
yeah, so we have the carpet, we have the GPA mesh underneath it, and we have an overlapping a uh, few centimeters, 40, 50 centimeters to the side, each side and in front. Yeah, so that is fine. Um, the baldachin, the, the canopy um, is there and for example if you have uh, also low frequency fields at the wall at the end of the bed, yeah, it could be possible that we paint just this area or that we use some wooden panels or a regips panel, I don't know the word in, in English, which is um, plaster balls, yeah, which are painted on the back side and grounded, that covers um, the low frequency fields at the wall as well. Um, and the other point is because, or the reason is, uh, the Nova fabric doesn't um, collect low frequency fields at all because you cannot ground it. Yeah? So the Nova fabric, our um, Geoidal Nova fabric, is um, covered with an, with an PU lac. That is, uh, it's, it's covered a little bit with plastic um, to protect the silver um, in it, in, in the fabric. Um, there are also a lot of fabrics on the market which don't have this. Yeah? But the problem is if you uh, wash it, and sometimes you have to wash it, yeah? Then, without the covering, um, in the washing machine, the, 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 the silver will go, will go away. Yeah? So that means, after the third washing, your whole shielding of the canopy is, is gone. Yeah? So you, you wash about, I don't know, 2,000 pounds or uh, dollars. Uh, through the washing machine and um, there is um, not um, uh, good, good, good results or good shielding anymore with these fabrics. Yeah? So we know this, we don't want to have this, that's the reason why we cover um, the Nova fabric with this lac, with this PU lac to protect the silver and that means you can wash it as often you want. Yeah? and um, make sure that, that you have fun with the canopy the next 10, 20 or however years you want to use it. That's the reason. Okay, very good. To see the result, the best is to use measuring tools and uh, to have one measuring outside of the canopy and one measuring inside of the canopy. We have at the moment countings. I'm going to the camera between 400 and I would say 800 yeah, as you can see okay important is to grab on the antenna yeah so we have here 600 800 900 1200 so quite a lot, 900, 800, 600, so quite a lot outside, yeah, now we put the canopy down and then we make a measuring inside, that's the next step.
Okay, now we are outside of the canopy. We have at the moment readings between 1000 and 1300, yeah, as you can see. So now I'm going back inside of the canopy. So now we are down to 70, 60, something like this. Canopy is still open, so next take we will close it. Yeah? Okay, so now we are inside of the canopy. Canopy is closed, yeah? And as you can see, the readings are wow, readings are perfect. Um, so the target is not to come that low. Yeah, target would be to come under 30. That is fantastic here. Yeah, uh, depends always um, on the pressure or the location where the house is inside of a, of a city or outside of a city. In a direct um, line, for example, where two repeater are communicating directly um, um, with each other. So um, these are all reasons uh, for, th for the readings, how much pressure is on the building and on the material as well. Yeah? So um, the target is to come under 30, that is fine. These readings are fantastic, but it also could be that we have still 200 or 300 here. Uh, that means a lot of pressure on the building. And then it would be, um, for example, a good idea to have two canopies over each other, so to create two barriers yeah, to get the readings down. Yeah. Okay, so that is super, that is fantastic, and yeah, that's it, what we want to have. <laughs>